Hotline, hotline. Welcome to the Harold Washington Post 1987 Hotline TV show. I'm going to turn over to that fantastic commander. Boom, bop, a boom, bam. <laughs> can't say that. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My partner in crime. I love to have him. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to the Harold Washington American <laughs> Legion Post 1987 Hotline. And uh, this evening we're talking about anything and everything, as they call it, Mulligan Stew Night again. But uh, first thing, a Is shout that out. that high stew, sir? <laughs> if, you, if you're a Creole or a Geechee or something uh, like Gitchy? that. Geechee? Yes. <laughs> From <you're>, Soldier Story. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's, it's in the stew, not the water. It's not the water this time. It's the oh, stew. God. But I'd like to send a shout out to the Georgia Giles uh, Post 87 for them to uh, have their 99th year wow. of service. 99 years. 99 years. That's a long time. That's a long time. For the first black, or as they call it back then, African American Post, American Legion Post. And uh, the commander of the post, Ashley Shine, presentation out there to you. Shout out to you, my brother. But now, uh, we're here to talk about anything and everything, so if you feel free, just give us a call. The conversations are open, and we're going to start it out between uh, the homeless. We always got to talk about them. Yes. Because... Uh, I can't just say this season because there's no no season for the homeless. You know, they're out there winter, spring, summer, and fall. So, you know, you just can't say just because Thanksgiving was that week after last or whatever it may be. Christmas is coming up. New Year's is coming up, you know. But still in all, we still got some homeless out there. And I'm not just talking about the regular homeless, the civilians. I'm talking about the veterans as well, you know. And uh, living in baby Alaska, I mean, excuse me, Chicago, you know, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you know, the polar bears is getting ready to take their furs off. So they're going to have a ball, but see, they're going to have a ball with our weather here. And as they were talking about uh, a little earlier about enjoy it tonight, tomorrow going to be different when you wake up naturally. It's going to be in single digits. So, you know, I want you to check, check on the uh, elderly, check on your neighbors. And if you know any homeless, homeless persons and everything, sometimes, you know, if you're in the vicinity, hey, look here, I'm not telling you to take them to your home. No, don't do that. If you can, take them to the shelter. Or give them an address or a phone number to uh, one that's uh, close in their back because they do have neighborhood shelters and stuff. You know, Commander, um, this week has been a sad week for our soldiers. And we heard that we lost some soldiers in the air. Yes, Because we did. the plane that was getting, uh, refueling them, I don't know what happened. But we lost about four or five soldiers who they still haven't been able to find their bodies in the uh, in the water. All right. So we shout out to their families. Uh, A prayer go out to their family, friends, the, and uh, loved ones for that. For any servicemen, even yeah. the ones that had uh, Iraq and stuff like that. Yes. Afghanistan or whatever. But uh, to wear their uniform. To wear that uniform, it's, it means a lot. Of th it's, it means a lot. Yes. You know, because it's not just your personality. It's your belief. It's your duty of what you're doing and everything. And you're fighting for, you're fighting for the civilian freedom here. And fight for the people's freedom elsewhere also. Because, see, freedom costs. Freedom is high. Freedom is not free. Freedom is not free. People going around, I'm free, you know. Ask yourself, how free are you? And when we talk about CVO and the crime committee, they caught the person that was 
stabbing folks on the north side. Amen. And the comment that he made is is chilling because he's literally saying that he gets a thrill out of hurting people. Oh, that's that's the guy that they uh okay. Yes. Yeah, after they had that bounty, I'm going to say a bounty, but it's a, a award. Uh, it was up to a hundred some thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. But it just took all of that to break, to get him to get in, to come in. Well, I was watching the news, and this guy was sitting at a bus stop. This lady came by. He Jumped like he was gonna do something, but he did. He hesitated. He yeah, he, he hesitated. hesitated. But with it to this other young man coming by, not paying no attention and everything, looked like he was on his way to school and everything, cause he had a backpack. Yeah, and that boy pushed him in front of a truck. I saw that. I said, Oh, what, what, what have we come to? And there was a homeless person that did it. Right, and you know, there's another case. You know, when you're in your car and you see these folks with these signs, homeless, need money, I'm sorry, but you know what? Keep going. This lady was in the car, rolled the window down, and the person came up, a man, ran up to the car and stabbed the lady. You know, folks, if you need help, there's a multitude of places you can go. If you need food, there's thousands, thousands upon pantries you can go to and get some food. There is no reason for you to be standing out in these streets in Chicago, in the suburbs, with a sign to my, you hungry? Help me. We got places where you can go and get help. And the saddest thing about it, some people say, I am a veteran. Yeah. And some, sometimes they may not be, but see, what my partner is saying is so true because of that idea. Listen very closely to what I'm going to say. I'm not going to bite my tongue. Some people take this as a hustle. Yes. You know, that, that's a different than hustling and somebody really need it because, see, you're taking away from that. I can understand maybe somebody is forced to do this because of no jobs or anything. But you're not trying to, to feed. do it, Commander. You know, because, but see, we got too many. We got you, you, too you're many. Forced, you, what, what I mean by you force, if you have addiction and then uh, you mess up all the money and everything like that, you don't have no place to stay, that's force. But the point is this. We have so many places where you can go and get food food throughout the Chicago land market or area. Yes, you do, but you see, don't have to get out of, but see, like you said, if you got a drug problem, you want money. Yes. I see that did like you said, go to the food pantries. It's good that they had these pantries because see then you could take whatever they give you, don't sell it. Take whatever they give you and take it home. That way you have a meal for not only yourself, your kids, if yes. you have kids, your family members. That's what this is for. But see, not sitting up there just taking it. They give you a bag and everything like that. Next thing you know, you're around the corner, you're selling it. Yeah. Or you, you come over here Tuesday. You go over here Thursday. And you go over there Saturday. You, you hit yeah, three you, you, you make you making your rounds. Some okay. people that's good, they do it just about every day. That way they don't have to go shopping. That's greed. Yes. And then another thing. And greed thing, is not good. Here, here's another thing that brought attention to uh, me from what my partner was just saying. You know, this is not no joke. Don't take it as no joke. Take it as serious. How do it look like a person going to a pantry? Getting the food that they need or giving to them, they don't have no place to take it. 
Mm. How you gonna cook over a stove when you don't have no gas or no electricity? Or you don't have no place? See, there's a lot of things that's going on here that, you know, you have to, you know, people have to pay attention to society because it's a lot of games being played. It's being played, and this is the type of season it is. It is. And we, as veterans, we wish the best for all our veterans. We wish the best for the civilian communities because if you've never been a veteran, you don't know what you don't know what it's like to be a veteran. If you've never been a soldier, you don't know what it's like to be a soldier or a sailor or an aircraftman, okay, in the Air Force or a Marine. We are special people. Don't live out the Coast Guard. And the Coast Guard. We are special people because we made a decision to serve, to serve the country. And as the commander pointed out to you, it's because of the, the veterans and the soldiers that you have the freedoms to that do you what have you want. in this country. Yes. You ought to be thanking God every day. You can walk into a supermarket, a CVS, a Walgreens, whatever supermarket is in your community. Because there's a lot of places in this country don't have what we have in America. And not to say America is not without its flaws. Oh yeah. Okay. I haven't seen anything yet on this on this earth that doesn't have a flaw. Absolutely. Things that look look to be good, it's not. Things supposed to be free, it's not. And just say we back to get free. You know, uh sometimes once every year, and that's on uh, Memorial Day that uh, the Harold Washington, not only the Harold Washington, American Legion Post 1987, but a lot of other American Legion Posts, AMVETS and uh, VFW and stuff like that, military outposts and stuff like that, they ask for donations. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is the time, either it's Memorial Day or Veterans Day, where they ask for donations to give from your heart to help the disabled veterans and the homeless and all of this. So they could be fair and stuff. But here sometimes, each year, it never, I look up, I look forward to, to it now because see, it never feels somebody uh, come up to me, come up to me or us and said that, uh, you haven't fought for my freedom. I had to look over that. The first year I got pissed off and I uh, got into an argument, but then I caught myself because see that I did. I realized the simple rules of life. It takes two to argue. Why should I argue with somebody that hasn't served and talking about how free they were, uh, you know, things like that? And I had to tell them, remind the person. They they talk about nobody ever attacked the United States. You know, United States always got to go attack someone else. What? If, wait a minute. Hold it. What happened to 9/11? Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. We had wars within our boundaries. Yeah, the Civil, Civil War. Civil War. There you go. Yeah. Spanish-American War. I mean, we didn't have wars. And we are, thank God, other than 9-11 and Pearl Harbor. That they did come you over here. We had, had to go over, over there first before they came over here. That's fighting the war. And a young lady going to look at me, I'm coming out the post office with my uniform on, and she spit on the ground in front of me. I stopped mm. and I looked, and she said, she told me that uh, I didn't go fight for her. <laughs> and before I realized, I had to catch myself, because see, you know, not because I was in uniform, because of the respect that I have. I started to grab her by her collar and just asked her what was her problem. Now, I'm not talking about beating up or nothing like that. No, that's not in my criteria. But it's just that, you young lady, what is the problem? Can we discuss this? See, you know, that's just like when I came home from uh, the Vietnam War era. 
We didn't get no recognition. Not none. We were baby killers. People threw at us. People spit at us. And it kind of reminded me of that. But yeah, you know, now they're changing their thoughts about that. But look at all these years. Come Go ahead, on. Carla. Yeah, I want to know what we are going to do for the veterans for these holidays coming up. For the who? For the veterans. For the holidays that's coming up. Well, uh, uh, the American Legion has certain posts. The American Legion has certain posts that's going to feed the civilians and the veterans. And they have it advertised uh, through, the, through their own area, neighborhoods and stuff. They have flyers out, and we produce flyers for that also. And like if a person on the south side, uh, the, they could go to the Giles Post and have a uh, hot meal for Christmas. But I can't speak for every other post because, see, I don't have that list as yet. I'll get that list next week. But uh, also, it's not just the American Legion. Legion. The, uh, churches. Churches going to be doing the Salvation Army. You know, everybody, uh, you know, including the Red Cross. But see, everybody, you know, it just takes time and effort. And really, as a group, as a whole, you know, everybody need to pitch in, but everybody doing something on their own because, see, the idea, everybody is not funded. Mm -hmm. And it does take capital to, to put on to do this because see yeah. if we was if we was funded some kind of way, well I I'd be the main one with a uh, chef head on and uh, telling the people in my vicinity, my community, come on in. You will have more than a hot soup and a slice of bread. You have some meat, some dressing. Some side dishes, you know, and 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 then you have a dessert. You know. All right, Dan. Thank you, sir. Thank you, caller. Thank you for your service. Thank you, top side. <laughs> you know, one of the things I want to let folks know that this year we had a fantastic picnic. Each year, is, each year is it getting gets better. better. It's getting better. And we want folks to know that next year it's gonna be better, it'll be bigger and better. And we want you guys to come out. That's it's free to the and, public. And it's free. Was that 69th? No, it's and, uh, 60, 63rd and, uh, and South, Shore? Uh, South Sh Lakeshore Drive, Lakeshore. right there by the basketball court. Is board. that Hayes Park? Uh, it's on uh, no, Hayes Boulevard. Okay. And uh, each year. And bring your family out every third Saturday. The Saturday right after Buck Billiken Parade, that's the second Saturday. The third Saturday is on us. Mm -hmm. You can't miss us. We're right off of Lakeshore Drive at 63rd Street, right there by the basketball court. We, serve, we start serving from 12 o'clock to 5 o'clock. But see, we do have extended hours since we have extra crowds now. But we be serving all kind of foods out there. Polar sausages, hot dogs, hamburgers. Ribs, chicken, you know. But see, it's this idea, this is what we offer. This is our point of margin of giving back. Letting the people know that you want Harold, you got Harold. Mm -hmm. Now, I noticed that at the Harold Washington Post, uh, is it on Tuesdays that you have the AAA meeting? Yes. And what is the purpose of this meeting? The uh, IAA meeting is to reach out to the community, you know. The, uh, uh, yes, every area had the little drug problems and stuff like that. But see, you know, it's for the community to be aware of what they have and the limitation about certain drugs and stuff. Mm -hmm. If you're young, you're still welcome to come because, see, this is the learning tree. What I, If you could see, a, if I could see a young person come up in there and they see the elf, older person, people up in there, mm -hmm. they'll see about the years what drugs could do. The main thing about what drugs could do, we know what drugs could do besides get you toe up and stuff like that. Drugs will get you in trouble. Drugs will get you to death. Drugs will get you to jail. Mm -hmm. But see, this is called addiction. And the only way to fight addiction, you got to learn the rules of addiction. 
Why is it that with some of the various VFW posts, uh, American Legion posts, it seems like our post is more inclined to provide services and things for folks who need help more so than some who have bars and parties all the time. Yeah, you know... Uh, I guess nothing wrong with that. No, but, but you know... Uh, I, I can't really say this out the right, but what I can say that I do believe that Harold Washington, post-1987, is the only, so far I know, American Legion post and uh, uh, other than other than our post, I don't even think the VFW, AMVETS, Illinois Veterans, Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs, I don't think any of them have a place outside their facility that what we're doing. I think we're the only post that's in the city of Chicago that has a drug program mm -hmm. outside of Jesse Brown or Hines or whatever. See, this is this is for our community. We know what's in our community. We go we go and walk the community. Down 47, 51st, 43rd Street, Michigan, Indiana. We would go to Cottage Grove and Lake Park and stuff like that. Let them know where we at, what we're doing. And at certain times, for Halloween, we give our Halloween uh, candy and stuff to the kids. And, and the fact that we have a uh, farm? Yes, and we, yes, we, we have that. We don't call it, we're not supposed to call it a farm. It's okay. a garden. A garden. And uh, I, I hope I don't get no path thrown at me. I, I always would say 4155, but it's 4153. South Kenya Met, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> We have an op opiate uh, condition uh, garden because, see, you know, though they have opiate problems, you could come there. We got benches, we got picnic tables. You could sit down there and get back to nature. You know, you could see things growing around you if you want to participate. You're welcome and stuff like that. This is the thing that you need because, see, a lot of stuff, you know, be going through PTSD also. A lot of things be going through our minds and stuff like that, and then, you know, the only way we can try to ease that, we got to go out and get some drugs or alcohol or something, you know, deter that. But see, you come out there, look around. It's quiet. You see, you see farming equipment. You see vegetables growing. Here's where you can participate. We even got little sections for the kids when they come as they call it, kids' gardens. So, you know, it's, it's for anybody and everybody. You know, we'll open it back up probably in March or something. It may be too cold, but it's never too cold to throw on some jeans, put on some gloves and stuff, and come work this Mother, mother Nature land. I heard that gardening was therapeutic. It, it really is. Because, see, you know, when we first got to, got to, uh, God, it was raining, mm. and uh, we got out there soaking wet. But see, we did we did skewed expression. Call us don't go, don't call up here cursing. We got some garbage bags and made them out of like raincoats, and we worked that land. People, yeah, you had a, a baggy poncho on. Yeah. <laughs> The old school way. Man made. Old school. I tell you, you know, when you're having fun, time flies. It really does. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I just want to tell you, you know, that uh, this, this is the thing that we do. You know, this is, the, this is how we help our community. And you think about the, uh, her Washington. You want them, you got them. We want to shout out to Deloitte and Dorothy and our, our technician. Till next time.